they serve a God who is good. And, you know, they, they have this saying, uh, thank God I'm not uh, where I was. I'm not where I, was, I wanted to be. And also where I was, but I'm somewhere, right? Can I tell you something? That's not for you and me. Because for us, the Bible says, he works more than we ask and we pray. Amen. So by the time you finish this 2019, it's not, you know, way you want it to be. It will be much more than where you want it to be. Amen. Because that's for the world. They are driven by their wisdom. They are driven by their knowledge, their understanding, their powers, you know, their money power or their intellectual uh, power or whatever that, that comes from them. But for you and me, what propels us is God. Amen. It's a resurrection power, the same power which resurrected Jesus from the death. It's the same power that is able to bring anything and everything to life. That is what is a driving force behind you and me. So we will progress not based on us, but based on the resurrection power that is living inside of us. Amen. You and I will progress not based on my strength, my ability, but based on grace, which is God at work for me, you and me. Amen. When grace promotes, when grace prospers, when grace makes you move, there is no power that can stop you. Amen. So it is based on the resurrection power. It is based on grace. You and I will progress and be not where we wanted to be, but much beyond than where we, you and I wanted to be. It could be in your profession. It could be in your relationship, finance, or your health, whatever it is, you wanted to go, you know, you thought, if I get a job in Dubai, right, somebody, you know, they just want to go abroad, Dubai, can I tell you something, much greater than that, <coughs> amen, if that's, I mean, I'm just saying, don't say, okay, I am thinking Dubai is taking me somewhere, no, I'm saying, you know, in the level of expectations, so have your expectations big, don't have little expectations. If you, are, if you are expecting based on new, then expect little. Lord, this year I just want to have a new car. Okay. No, second hand car. You know, I'll go to first choice. That is based on new. Okay. But based on God, I'm going to have a new car. There's nothing wrong in desiring, you know, uh, wealth like that. Amen. You want to have, get into good relationships, good job. Don't say, some job, Lord, I can take care of my needs. Not that, you know. Where you can, you know, there are two kinds of spending, right? One way you calculate and spend, way you don't calculate and spend. I pray that you will spend with no calculations. Amen? Isn't it good? See, don't worry about prosperity. A God is a rich God. Amen. He wants you to prosper. And for some of you, I want to declare this over you. You will foreclose your debts, your EMIs, your loans. Amen. You will foreclose. You will pre-close. How many of you know OTP? What it means OTP? One-time password, right? Can I tell you something? It's, you know, we, need, we don't call it one-time password. We call it one-time payment. Amen. We, we, you are going to make one-time payments. You know why? The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 14, by one sacrifice, he perfected forever. See, one sacrifice perfects everything. So because of that one sacrifice, you will make the one-time payment. Isn't it good? You know, this one sacrifice supernaturally provides for you. Amen. So you will foreclose the loans in this new year. Amen. Wherever you go, people will look at you and say, you are a blessing for us. We are so privileged to have you work for us. We are so privileged for you to be a part of this company. They're going to talk about you. They're going to recognize the fragrance of Jesus Christ. Amen. They're going to smell Jesus in you. They're going to experience Jesus in you. You will radiate. You will reflect. You will resemble Jesus himself in every place you go. Amen.